How crazy is this? This is a real life giant moving to scale <laughs> fully operational Gundam in Japan and it's moving look at that how crazy is that it's moving very slowly I think this is sped up like four times but it's moving how nuts is that the future is here my friends the future is here <laughs> and you guys know that I love Gundams and I love big mechs and I love drawing them Years ago, I drew one uh, for my friend Apple for Cyber City Con. I drew a Gundam Wing Zero. Very, very complicated. It was a lot of fun to put together. Also, when I got my Cintiq, I also did a Gundam drawing. My very first robot digital drawing was a lot of fun as well. And last year, I got the chance to go to Japan. I saw this giant unicorn Gundam, which was really amazing. It lit up and everything, so cool, inspired me a lot. I even got to go to the Gundam store and saw all of the Gundams that they had to offer over there. Picked one, or actually a couple up for myself. <laughs> also went and I drew a unicorn Gundam. That was so cool. I know I'm okay at drawing Gundams. When it comes to drawing Dragon Ball, I'm kind of... <laughs> I've drawn a few Dragon Ball characters to mixed results, so I thought to myself, how can I get you guys to like my Dragon Ball drawings better? Well, what if I fuse them with Gundam? And that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to fuse together a Gundam with Goku. And hopefully you'll like it. How will it look like? <laughs> well, we're going to find out right now. I drew this live on my second channel, youtube.com slash jamesrays, where I try to draw live five, six, seven times a week. So please do join me if you have the time. I knew I wasn't going to get too detailed with this, and I knew for the most part it's going to be like the actual line art, going to be like 99% Gundam. And there were just some things I was going to do to tweak it to kind of make it feel a little bit more like Goku. When it comes to the eyes, I wanted to have more... Toriyama style eyes, so bigger eyes, but uh, that's pretty much it with the exception of the hair. I was trying to figure out how could I possibly do the hair without it just looking like I put the, like a metal wig on him. You guys know a Gundam has that metal V in the middle, so I thought why don't I take that and put a whole bunch around its head. I'm going to color that black and there you go. That's going to be our Gundam and Goku, right? So. You know, pretty, pretty simple drawing, not the most detailed Gundam I've ever drawn, but a lot of fun to do live. This actual drawing took about, uh, I'd say about uh, two and a half hours to actually draw before we get into the color. So here is the black and white version of my Goku and Gundam piece coming right at you. So then on to the colors here, and this is where Goku's really going to shine. Uh, the color palette I am using for the Gundam is pretty much the orange and the blue, and being very selective with it, uh, trying to mimic what I see when it comes to Goku's outfit. So to be honest, it's a very, very simple merge together. Maybe I should have went for a more realistic metal face. Maybe that would have been better. How could I have made this fusion even better? Why don't you let me know in the comments down below? <laughs> 
This was a lot of fun to match together. Now, maybe you guys have some ideas of other properties I should match together. Maybe mechs with other properties. I don't know, maybe Pokemon, maybe uh, One Piece, <laughs> maybe, I don't know, Marvel, DC, whatever. Maybe you have a good idea to match together with a mech. Why don't you let me know in the comments down below. But here it is, the Goku and Gundam mashup coming right at you. This was a lot of fun. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit this the thumbs up button. Share this with all your friends and I will be your friend for life. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are the best. My name is James. I am the box office artist. I'm here to say keep drawing. I'll see you all next time.